this was an interesting tweet from Ashley St. Clair. She was talking about she she is a mom. Um, yeah. Oh, this is the idea that that Twitter is off putting to like normie women. Uh, I tried getting my mom to use X more. Feeds for new users are incredibly graphic, controversial, and off putting. Lots of women are also deterred by lack of sensitivity settings uh, for their own comments. Women don't want a gladiator free speech arena under their posts. It's just how it is. As Cernovich said, you need to get the cookie moms here. And this is a response to this tweet. I can say from observation that my wife and most of her five sisters don't find X appealing and don't use it much, if at all, while TikTok and Insta are almost like addictions for them. Something about X isn't female friendly. Ooh, what do you guys think of this? And this is, uh, Ashley also said, uh, 70%, basically it's 70% men here, meaning on Twitter. I mean, I can see that. I find for when I actually go through social media, it's like cute pictures, dogs, cats, um, I don't know, cleaning videos or reels <laughs> in TikTok. So I don't know. I, I find that very relaxing. Twitter is like the news. There's a lot more yeah. negativity than there is on Instagram or TikTok. So I, I would I say not to say that like the women in your life are fucking stupid and they're not uh, intellectually stimulating, but TikTok and Instagram are like brain rot apps. Like you don't need to have yeah. a point of view. You don't have to be passionate about anything. You don't have to engage in a conversation. They're, they're very passive. It's like, oh, looking at photos, posting photos, and then like, uh, it's almost like watching TV. Really, TikTok. Mm -hmm. You can just shut your brain off and just go. The mindlessness, the swiping, and like Instagram too with the videos. It's like Twitter is like, I'm sorry, you have to read. Okay, there's videos and photos on yeah. here as well, but it's for conversations. So yeah. maybe these, the women in your life are just fucking not, not that you have to be a mental giant to be on Twitter, but you have to have an opinion. Speaking of mental giants, Hi. Nina's here. Yeah, what's up? I, you're muted or something. I can't hear you. You're muted. That's how we like our women. <laughs> it's Whoa. me on Friday Night Tights. <laughs> I really want to get Nina's take on this. Uh, well, once we can start so, hearing her, yeah. she's like Ariel right now. I'm going on <laughs> to my second snack. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah. I think the fun thing about Twitter for me is just reading people's responses, tweets. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hello. Can you hear me now? Yes. Yay! What's up? Are you, are you in a new room, Nina? I I'm out of a closet, Chrissy. I'm out. Is of this a your closet. new space? Your new uh, streaming space? Yeah, this is my new streaming oh, space. Sweet. I okay. got a stand up desk. Ooh, Picture wow! Girls look at see you. the old setup in person. Yes, yes. I was in the closet with Nina, and we were very close and um i'm glad she's out of the closet now because it was really squished in there it was tight it was tight uh but now i'm free i'm liberated sexually wow as nice. well. oh. <laughs> wow that standing desk did a lot for you the, the sexually part was thanks to x-ray girl just, just oh saying. we scissored you're welcome yeah, chat. We it's true it's all true but yeah, what's going on with this? I don't I don't know. So I just walked in. This the argument is that um Twitter does not appeal to women. Uh it's not female friendly, but I just think uh Instagram and TikTok are really like brain rot brain rot apps. Like you can just scroll, you don't need to have a point of view or an opinion mm -hmm. or uh have thoughts on anything. It's just like watching TV. Yeah, it is. Um Twitter, I guess it, it really depends on your sense of humor. <laughs> like it can yeah. be funny. <laughs> it can be hilarious. I think I have fun with it. Have, yeah, if you don't like racist jokes then yeah, maybe you shouldn't be on Twitter. Yeah, like yeah. if you don't like anything especially if you're PC, just stay off. No. Just stay off Twitter, man. Like no. It's that's not going to work out for you. You're not going to have fun. But if you have a sense of humor and you're not PC, you can have fun with it. You can troll. You can troll. If, you're, if you can troll even minim minimally, you're good. It's so fun when you troll. Yeah. It is. Chrissy, yeah. I find you're like a very good troll. <laughs> oh, thank you. Also, like, 
Yeah, it's like you're walking into a room full of people yelling, and sometimes that's exciting. <laughs> a good, like a good thread. Sometimes there's a lot of drama. Yeah, fights. You a lot of popcorn. You can you sit, sit down and scroll. Yeah, good. yeah. It's a good way to work out your argument too. <laughs> yes, threads for sure. Debate tactics. Mm-hmm. Cranberry says probably women who have more home lives are too stressed to want to hang out on Twitter. This is true. Wow. This is true. Yeah. I, I find most normies aren't on Twitter. They have to be like a pretty like extremist on one side or the other. That's why these types of conversations yeah. occur. Whereas like a normie's just like, who cares? <laughs> do you do you find, Chrissy, that you have less time to be scrolling Twitter now that you're a mom? Uh yeah, it's very sad. I have less time kind of for everything. Like um, like what happens a lot is I'll make a cup of coffee and then two hours later I'll be like, Oh yeah, that coffee. It's still it's still in the microwave, <laughs> you know, or like Yeah, and it's cold. Yes, again. I heat up I heat up old coffee. Um, yeah. It's a lot of that. It's a lot of making coffee and then losing it and then finding it later in the day. This is why you have to get <laughs> used to cold coffee. Like mm -hmm. uh, cold coffee is the best. Just put it in the fridge. Make yourself like a pitcher. Ooh, you can put do a uh, cold brew. Yeah. Just, yeah. Just yeah. Brew, put it in the it's fridge. It's stronger then, too. Yeah, it's stronger. Well, it's I gotta sweeter. Watch, I have to watch the caffeine even more so now that I'm breastfeeding because if you, oh, I went, right. I would have just maybe one or two cups a day when I was pregnant, but now, and I was doing that right when he was born, but then I realized he would be like fussy and like stay up. And then I looked into how babies hang on to caffeine an unbelievably long time, something like 60 mm. hours. Like it takes very little caffeine. And I was like, oh shit. Oh my God. So I had, Having I had a go baby on caffeine. Oh, I had to go completely to decaf, which I've never done, but I'm like, it's just, it's not worth it. So these little things that we have to tweak and I, wow. I had to really, I had to basically get off dairy. Like I would have yogurts all throughout my pregnancy, but the dairy makes him like, I think a little more gassy. And I think he's been less fussy since I've stopped having the yogurts and like get like mostly off dairy. So, wow. Yeah. The absolute sacrifices. By the way, happy Mother's Day. Happy first Mother's mm -hmm. Day, Chrissy. Thank you, Nina. And I'm ignoring oh. I mean, while I sit here and ignore my baby. <laughs> Love you guys. Thank you for the chats. Thank you for the comments. I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Bye. All right. Love you guys. Oh, I don't even want to leave. This candle smells so good. I don't want to leave. All right. Love you guys. Talk to you soon. Bye. Love you all. Join the Discord. Feet. Love you all. Wow. You guys are awesome. Don't even get it. Bye, guys. Bye. Now I'm really leaving. Love you. Bye.